Hello, welcome to today's exercise on a C recursion. Today we are going to be real quick. We we'll just go straight to the point. Ensure that you read through the, the general requirements. The first task is that the first task is um, she, which is a the zero tax says she. Uh, so this is just like the question, and this one is. So this is the main question here. Say write a function that print a string followed by a line, and this is the prototype. Remember, this is the prototype. So the first thing we are going to do here is to create the main header file. So we are going to use all this main header file. You can see them here. All the main header file. We are going to use them to create. We are going to use all the main header file from A to Z, just like this. We are going to use all the main header file. Remember, all the prototypes are like this. Let me put something there so that you can see. This is an example of the prototype. Okay, all the prototype is going to be what we are going to use for the header. Like this. These are prototypes from the, from the first one to the last one okay we'll include this on the, this input car so that we can we not have issue with our put car underscore put car okay so this is what we are going to do so let me quickly quickly go straight to the point so what we'll do next is to answer that question we we'll first of all create our main dot header file let's check what we have so you create your readme file first then the next thing is to create your main dot header file are you getting me? Then you enter in SAT before you press insert mode, go back to command mode. Before you press your insert mode, ensure that everything is okay. Then you you type, you can see my cursor here blinking, semicolon, right, set, paste, right, then press enter, then you press I. Okay, that will Help your code to not to scatter when you paste them. So you can see I paste the code that I've written on, on my test documents. So I have to write all of them down on the test document and publish here. So you can see this is how you write your, your main file. Ensure that you go through it this way. Okay, then you save it. The next thing now, if you check what we have here now, we have to find. The next thing we will need now is the underscore put car. So remember, we have created we've created before. You can check it on the on the for the question there. You can uh, check it out there, or we we'll create it here for everybody to get. So you say put put car. See, then you press. So for us, to, you be, it's already on the website from our it's from my exercise. If you don't have it, you just press set underscore set paste enter press the i key then the next thing you do you just copy it and paste there right so the next thing you do you just drop it there so i will drop it real quick so that you can see it so just one minute one minute then i just get it done quickly so, so this is it. Let me just quickly drop it there. You can see it. So this is my own put car. So you just save it, right? Then let's check what we have. Let's clear our terminal. Boom. Let's see what we have, Alex. Boom. You see, we have a tree now. So we are not going to compile. We are just going to run. Uh, the code you are just going to uh, commit and uh, add then you, you can you can compile it you know how to compile already there's no point to going through that repetition of tasks so what i'm going to do now the main thing now is the task which is the main thing which is uh, the the main file which we are going to write the the, uh, the the instruction that they give us which is this so you say v put this enter so once you do this we are good. So the next thing you do is um, you know, 
paste your code there. So that's what we'll do. So once you put your the code for your for your tax, this is the code here for your tax. So you can see it. That's the code for your tax. Uh -huh. So this way you can easily get your tax done. So when you true, you just press the. I don't know if you can see my screen very well. Then when you true, you press the exit key. Then the next thing is going to be you're going to add them all to git. Add to git add them all. Okay, then you git commit right here. Then okay, yes, I have them before. Then you push. Don't ignore that because I have it before. Then you push. Okay, everything is still up to date. So when you are done, you clear your screen and check your answer. Okay, that's it. So subscribe to get more of this content. Do it. Uh, this is what I've done, and as well, I've tested it, it's working. As well, I'm, I'm sharing it for people that are struggling to be able to uh, meet up on time. So learn it, study it. It's important that you study it and and uh, subscribe to the platform so that you receive notification new content as fresh as it's drop okay thank you bye bye